I don't know what to make of this. Sean Hannity lashed out at President Obama for comparing himself to Trayvon Martin. Take a look. You know, the politician who is, um, you know, who's quick to stick his nose in all this first, you know, the police acted stupidly. You know, if I had a son, he'd look like Trayvon. You know, now the president say Trayvon could have been me 35 years ago. Oh, that's this is a particularly helpful comment. Is that the president's admitting that, well, I guess because what, he was part of the Chum gang and he smoked pot and he did a little blow? I'm, I'm not sure how to interpret that because we know that Trayvon had been smoking pot that night. I'm not sure what that means. So, Eugene Robinson, there are things to say wow. after the president. Yeah. <coughs> There are things to say after what the president said on Friday in debate, and there are fascinating discussions. But I don't even know where to put that. Um, that's extreme and wrong, I think. Well, I, I think that's extreme and wrong, too. It seems we keep hearing, Mika, that Trayvon had it coming because he had pot in his system. I keep hearing this from people like Sean Hannity and others on the right. Really? Is that the new standard? Would we like to go across college campuses in America and tell all white boys that if they have marijuana in their system, then they're fair game? Or that if they're walking through the neighborhood and they act in a, an untoward way towards somebody who is chasing them through a neighborhood? I mean, it's, th th this is, this is what not only the right, but some in the middle are suggesting is is the defense it's it's society's fault it's actually we're turning that around i know gene and others will remember middle class whites used to be angry when there would be black crime and liberal politicians would say well it's society's fault it's bigger societal issues well that's what's happening now in reverse they're bigger societal issues um, you know black men wearing hoodies they all commit crimes that's richard cohen's argument Right. So he had it coming to him or Sean Hannity. I mean, it's straight out of reefer madness. I hear he had marijuana in his system. And you know what? <laughs> you've seen reefer madness. You know what happened? Really? Really? In 2013, Sean? Come on. Whatever excuse there is to say this young black man had it coming to him. That is the defense, because there is no defense for shooting down a young black man in a middle-class neighborhood with Skittles. Armed with Skittles. This entire spectacle is depressing, and it's giving the parents and loved ones of African-American children even more of a reason to be concerned and to go out on weekends and peacefully march. You know. And the vultures are going to continue to circle around this young teenager's body and make no mistake of it, they are. And they continue to try a young man and try to destroy his reputation for doing nothing more than walking through a neighborhood. It's making, all of this is making it all too evident that too many people out there in the media and politicians are calculating and callous in their commentary.